Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at characteristics of dystopian literature. Let's get started. Let's take a look at dystopia etymology. First of all, we know that this comes from Old Greek and it means bad. Topia means place in Old Greek. So, what is the opposite of a dystopia? Well, your answer will be utopia. Yes, that's right. Utopia is a place or state or condition that is ideally perfect in respect of politics, laws, customs and conditions. Then what is dystopia in literature? It is a world in which everything is imperfect and everything goes terribly wrong. Dystopian literature shows us a nightmarish image about what might happen to the world in the near future. Usually, the main themes of dystopian works are rebellion, oppression, revolutions, wars, overpopulation, and disasters. Function of Dystopia Through Dystopia, authors express their concerns about issues of humanity and society and warn the people about their weaknesses. Authors use Dystopia as a literary technique to discuss reality and depict issues that might happen in the future. Thus, the role of Dystopian literary works is to educate and give awareness to the audience. Dystopias also serve as warnings about the current state of affairs of a government and of those in power. In dystopic writings, authors point out the wrongdoings in a society or a system, the reason that is often called a critique. Now let's look at the characteristics of dystopia. So government control, environmental destruction, technological control, survival, loss of individualism. Characteristics of dystopia example. Citizens live in a dehumanized state. Another example. Citizens conform to uniform expectations. Individuality and dissent are bad. Another characteristic of dystopian example. Society is an illusion of a perfect utopian world. The dystopian protagonist. They often feel trapped and are struggling to escape. They question the existing social and political systems. They believe or feel that something is terribly wrong with the society in which they live. They help the audience recognize the negative aspects of the dystopian world through their perspective. An example of a dystopian literature is The Giver by Louis Lowry. In this case, we have government control. In this novel, Jonah's community has no starvation, poverty, lack of housing, unemployment or prejudice, and everything seems perfect. However, as the novel advances, Jonas gets insight into people's personal lives and notices that they have given up their individualities and freedoms. Precise, the community is a hypocrite, conforming to false ideas and becoming a bad place to live in. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley technological control. Huxley draws dystopia through emotional and political events. He brings a dystopian setting by the mention of technology and higher authorities. With the increased use of technology, the need for a human workforce decreases, leaving them with a great deal of depression. The novel explores the dark side of an apparently successful world where everyone looks satisfied and contented 
with excessive pleasures of technology, which they achieve by sacrificing their personal freedoms. So how about testing your knowledge now? Which of the following statements is the best dystopia definition? A. A society in which everything is ideal. B. The collapse of society after an apocalyptic event. C. A horrifying society with much human misery. That's right, the right answer is C. Question 2. Which of the following narratives would qualify as a dystopia example? A. Louis Lowry's The Giver. A society has eliminated pain in return for sameness, but in so doing has also eliminated emotion, color and personal individuality. A boy named Jonas receives memories of what the community was like before sameness destroyed all these things. Cormac McCarthy's The Road A father and son travel across a bleak landscape after some extinction event has killed almost all human life. They confront other survivors from time to time, often choosing to kill or be killed. A is the right answer. The giver is an example of a dystopian narrative. Number three, what makes George Orwell's novel Animal Farm an example of dystopia? A is a satire of the real events of the Russian Revolution. B. Napoleon the Pig, who attains complete power, convinces the other animals that they are better off without human rule, then forces them to work harder for less food. Or C. The characters are talking to animals who have thoughts and feelings. So here the right answer is B. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions about dystopian literature, type your question below this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the, the video, hit on the liked button. And you may share with your friends if you liked the lesson. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.